Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you the proof of the two tangents theorem. So, uh, it says here, JK is tangent to uh, circle L. So, here's L, and this is circle L at K. So, JK is tangent here, touches the circle at this point, and JM is tangent to circle L at point M. So here's the point of tangency, and here's the point of tangency. So the two tangents theorem, um, I'm gonna show you the proof of that, and then you'll be able to use it for the rest of your life. So uh, what you're going to need is a pen or pencil and a straight edge. So here is my famous uh, three-sided ruler that's in the shape of a triangular prism. You don't need one of these, you just need a one-sided ruler. Uh, and then what you're going to do is uh, you're gonna take uh, your your straight edge go from the center L and go to that point of tangency and then you're going to go from that center L and go to this point of tangency where M is at and then uh, you're going to draw a line that connects a line segment that connects L to J so from here to here so that you have two triangles. So here's one triangle LJK and another triangle LJM. Now we're going to make a flow chart and make it flow. So first thing is we can say that well our, our the our goal of our flow chart is to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So uh, the first bubble in our flow chart, because this is a radius and this is a radius, we can say that LK is congruent to LM. There's our first bubble, and you could just say radius or radii or definition of radii, or same radii in a circle, or yeah, so just all the radii in a circle are congruent. And let's put a tick mark here and a tick mark here. Uh, next thing that we can say is that, um, let's see, we can say that LJ is congruent to itself. So this segment is congruent to itself because both triangles both have LJ, and let's circle that, and we can say reflexive. So whenever you state something is congruent to, your, to itself, then that is reflexive. So Mr. Q is congruent to Mr. Q, reflexive. Your name is congruent to your name, that's because you're reflexive. So you're uh, congruent to yourself. Uh, next thing is we can say that, so if we remember this one, we can say that angle uh, K, or let's just be specific, LKJ, so this angle, so I'm going to put this over here, angle L. KJ and hopefully you guys are following along and you guys are writing this in your notes also so you know this for life. Um, so angle LKJ is congruent to angle LMJ, okay, which equals 90 degrees. So they are congruent to each other because they both equal 90 degrees. So you could say that, or you could say both are right angles, or or whatever. Uh, so just know that they're congruent because they both equal 90 degrees because of the tangent radius. Okay, that's a dash down to minus theorem. So... You can watch another video, uh, but pretty much whenever you have a tangent and a radius that connect, they, they are perpendicular, so they make right angles. Okay, so yeah, I have, a, I have another video on that, so just look it up if you want to. If not, just keep following along. Um, so yeah, so just know that a tangent and a radius, when they meet, they make right angles. Okay, so now we can say... Um, we can say that triangle LKJ is congruent to triangle LMJ. Okay, for 
If you remember the five possible reasons for triangles to be congruent, side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle, or HL. Um, and what is HL only used for? Uh, right triangles. So maybe it might be HL. Let's see. So uh, let's not forget the arrows. So that bubble goes here. This bubble points here. And this bubble points here. Uh, so we do have that right angle that was important. Um, and it's not side angle side because this angle isn't sandwiched by two sides. Um, it's not angle side side because that's not one of the five. So no ASS on there. Uh, so, uh, but this right angle is pointing at this side which we have tick marks for and this right angle is pointing at this side that we have tick marks for so this is the hypotenuse of this triangle and any other side is called the leg and it's a right triangle so these two triangles are congruent to each other because of hypotenuse leg congruency uh, so the hl theorem and so because of that so our, the whole reason for, for doing this is to come up with a conclusion about these two tangent lines. So if these two triangles are congruent, as we've just shown, uh, we can say that KJ is congruent to MJ. So let's put that there. KJ is congruent to MJ because of if you guys remember those five letters corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent or C P C T C. So, um, Remember, what this means is if two triangles are congruent, then their other parts are congruent. So since these two are tri two triangles are congruent, as we've shown here, then these parts, th this side is congruent to this side. And what are these sides? They're tangent lines. So we can conclude that when tangents intersect each other, uh, that they are congruent. So for so if you ever see a, a circle with two tangent lines, and let's just say that this is just for example 14. What's the what is x equal? That means x equals 14 because they're the exact same thing. So whenever you see a problem with a circle and two tangent lines, and whatever this side is, set it equal to this side because of this right here. So when your friend or not your friend, your associate or coworker or a classmate asks, hey, what's true about uh, two tangent lines? And you can say they're congruent. And if they say, hey, why? Then you can show them this beautiful proof right here. And then they'll never ask you why for that ever again. So the two triangles are congruent, so the corresponding parts are congruent. Those corresponding parts are tangent lines that intersect. So any two tangent lines for the same circle are always congruent. There you have it. Uh, hope that helps. Have a great day.